एवरीवन वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ लर्निंग इंग्लिश विद जी लवन टुडे वी विल लर्निंग सम टिप्स ऑन हैंडलिंग क्रिटिसिजम्स इन अ कन्वर्सेशन बिकॉज़ हैंडलिंग क्रिटिसिजम्स कैन बी वेरी वेरी चैलेंजिंग स्पेशली व्हेन समवन इज टेलिंग इट टू यू डायरेक्टली when they're texting it you or sending emails you will still have time to handle but in a conversation it can be very challenging so i've collected some tips from here and there to help you let's go when someone is criticizing you try to listen actively and objectively to what they are saying don't interrupt or get defensive but instead try to understand their perspective What happens is we tend to react very quickly whenever someone's uh, criticizing us, and we don't tend to listen to all the facts or what this person's perspective is. Is this person meaning the criticism in a good way, in a bad way? Can it be constructive? Is it really true? So listen carefully to what this person has to say before reacting. Okay, take your time. It's important to remember that criticism is not a personal attack but rather feedback on your behavior or actions. Try not to take it too personally and instead focus on how you can improve. Let me give you an example. Uh for example, let's say that you have spilled ink on some important documents. Okay? Spilled water or ink on your on some important office documents. and your boss comes and shouts at you he is not shouting at you because you are a bad person he doesn't mean to say that he is just shouting at that particular action of yours the behavior of yours which angered him because it's a huge loss right so when someone criticizes you don't think this person thinks you are a bad person or doesn't like you it just means he didn't like that particular action of yours okay if you are not sure what the other person means or you need more information ask questions to clarify this will show that you are interested in their perspective and willing to engage in a constructive conversation instead of getting upset and just going away and assuming things in your mind why don't you get more clarity on why this person is criticizing you why or what did this person like what is the uh, back story right you can just ask a question instead of assuming so much and overthinking if the criticism is valid take responsibility for your actions and apologize if necessary this will show that you are willing to acknowledge your mistakes and work to improve For example, the same example, right? You spilled water or ink on on important office documents. Apologize. It is your mistake. Own up to it. It will have a good impression on people around you. They will think that you are strong. You are willing to improve and uh, work towards your mistake. And things can be sorted out in a very peaceful manner instead of uh, of a fight resulting in a fight. Avoid getting defensive or aggressive in response to criticism. Instead, respond calmly and respectfully and try to address the concerns raised in a constructive manner. Because most of the time when we get triggered, we are not able to solve the issue, the core issue at hand. We just start playing the blame game, we it leads to a lot of overthinking, uh we spoil the relationship, right? So It is good to deal with things calmly. Ask the other person for feedback on how you can improve and what you can do differently in the future. This will show that you are open to learning and growing from the experience. If you have received criticism, it's important to follow up and show that you are taking steps to address the concerns raised 
This will demonstrate that you are committed to making positive changes and improving your communication skills. Remember that handling criticism is an opportunity to learn and grow and to improve your communication skills. By staying calm, listening carefully and responding respectfully, you can turn a potentially difficult situation into a productive conversation. So that's why when someone criticizes you, gives you a negative feedback, do not get angry. The most important thing is stay calm, smile, try to communicate, ask questions, clarify the matter at hand and try to improve and work on it. Apologize if necessary, there's nothing wrong with apologizing. These are the things that actually show that you have good communication skills. It is not about great vocabulary or uh, perfect sentence uh, structure and formation. It's never about that. It's about these tiny things that matter. Very well, so uh, I guess I've discussed uh, the points that I had in mind and let me know if this has been useful for you. Uh, as usual, thank you for all the uh, support that you have been giving me and uh, please mention what you would like me to make a video on in the comment section and if such videos are actually helping you. See you in the next episode.